The video you're about to see is a video in two parts, but in the same video, where I went to the Portland Leather Goods outlet for a celebration they were having. So I'll show you some of the special things they were doing, tell you why they were celebrating, and show you the inventory that they had there. But it was also a bit of a personal shopping trip. I got a few things for myself, but I also picked up a few things for a few other YouTubers. So after you watch my video, please make sure you go over to see Yota Style, Dawn Loves Couture, and James Jam, because they're all posting videos at the same time, I'll have them linked below, and they will show you what they got from the outlet on this day. And after the outlet portion, I'll show you what I picked up. It was a really fun day. I hope you'll enjoy it. Stay tuned. <music> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on our YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. I am back at the Portland Leather Goods Outlet. I've brought you here before, I will link that video down below, but today is their one year anniversary and they're having a party. There's an ice cream truck outside and there's supposed to be some raffles and surprises inside. I'm on a mission today, not only to see what new they may have today, but also to look for a few specific things for a few specific people, some fellow YouTubers who love Portland leather goods just about as much as I do. Let's go check it out. I'm finally walking out of Portland Leather. I don't know how many hours I was in there. I would guess maybe two or three. There was a lot to see. So many people at first, it finally died down so I was able to peruse more. And I wanna say a special shout out to John Claudette, and I'm probably going to get your name wrong, I'm so sorry. Violetta, was that it? Did I get it right? I know I'm close. If I don't have it exactly, I'm so sorry. But all three of you uh, saw me and said hi, and I appreciate that, I enjoy talking to you guys. John, I'm sorry we didn't get to talk more. It was, I just got here and it was kind of rushed. But I picked up a a lot of things. Here's a sneak peek. It's not all for me, but some of it is, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Also, I was here long enough that the ice cream truck left, so I didn't get any ice cream. I also didn't get one of those stamped leather flowers that were out here at the very beginning when I arrived, so I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but not a big deal. I got some cool bags, so happy about that. And I got to meet some of you, which is the best part. Well, I am back home from the outlet. It's actually a different day. It's like a week later because I haven't had time to film, and I picked up three things for 
for me at the outlet and everything else you saw in that great big bag that I had was for other people. So again, to see what these other people got, make sure you go see James Jam, Dawn Loves Couture, and Yota Style, whose videos are all linked below and they'll reveal what they got. So right now I'm gonna show you the three things that I got. The first is something unique and special. It's a wrap journal. I'll bring it closer. It's in the small size and what's special about it is the color and the leather. So at the outlet, if you have a unicorn color, it will have a unicorn tag. Here's the back of it, it has the price. It does say that this one was $24. And I think that this is brushed green. The greens have been hard to find from Portland Leather Goods lately. Let me give you a little spin of this while I'm talking. I've heard that they're going to be releasing more greens and blues, but we'll see. No timeline on that yet. So with these wrap journals, you pull this leather strap around and then you open it up. And this one actually came with a notebook in it, which is awesome. This one is a lined notebook and you can pick these up for $5 from their website. And it has a little elastic band to keep it in. Now I'm not normally a fan of the wrap journals cause I don't like that piece of leather flying around everywhere but I had to get this one because of the color. I couldn't pass it up. The other two items I got are both handbags. The first is this one. This is the Poppy. This is in the color Cognac, which is a very pebbled and very soft and smushy leather. I have some stuffing or something in it right now, so it's not as squishy as it would be if it was empty. Oh, I love Cognac. It's a great brown. It has this red tone. I love the squishiness, the pebbles. The Poppy is a fairly newly released bag and I've had my eye on it for a while, but I wanted to see it in person and I finally got to do that and knew I had to have one. So it has this leather tassel. It has this giant pocket up front here, no pocket on the back. However, inside you do have a giant pocket on the inside there, only on one side. And then of course it's Portland leather, so it just has that raw suede on the other side of the leather, which is so beautiful. It's stamped Portland leather up here. And then it has this fabulous long adjustable and removable crossbody strap. I just love it. To me, this bag reminds me a bit of the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire, except it's bigger. In fact, let me get one and compare it so you have a better idea of the size. Okay, Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire and Poppy. So it's quite a bit bigger. And on the ends too, it has more depth. Since I purchased this, I have been wearing it. It's so comfortable. It fits a lot. Now purchasing those two items were easy decisions, but this next one, I really went back and forth about. But ultimately, I'm so happy I decided to get it. I really Really love it. This is the large Lola bag. It's more of a north-south layout than an east-west. It has these straps which will fit over your shoulder like so, but it also has this, again, long adjustable removable crossbody strap. And that's mostly how I've been wearing it. These handles don't have hardware where they fold over like this, so what I tend to do is just stuff them down into the bag like so. Also, this bag has a zipper on top, and then I just throw that crossbody strap over my shoulder, and I've got the bag on crossbody. Now, it is a pretty big bag, so it can get kind of heavy depending on how much you have it loaded down, but we took it to the beach last weekend. I had my water bottle, the dog's water bottle, and a bunch of other stuff, my vlogging camera and different things, and it fit everything just great. No feet on this one. The color, by the way, is Dakota. Let me bring it closer. Give you a little look of that and you can see all these marks that are in it and how this panel is a little darker than some of the others. Then when I turn it, you can see some of the hide marks there, like stretch marks that were on the cows and these panels are a little darker than the center one. And there you go. And you can tell that this is a pretty sensitive leather that is going to get these marks. It's a new buck, I believe, and it has marks there and there, all kinds of marks. So here's the thing, this Dakota color and the leather, the type of leather it is, being so sensitive. Since I first saw Dakota, I have loved the color. And a while back, I got a tote bag in their color Storm, which is a dark gray, it's like a blue gray, but it's the same kind of new buck leather. And I returned that because I was kind of scared to wear it about marking it up. So what I loved about this and buying it at the outlet where it's gonna be an almost perfect level bag, you know, they have the premium and the almost perfect. This already had most of these marks on it when I bought it. And that made me a lot more comfortable to start using it and not worrying about putting marks because it already had so many. And I really like the way that it looks with all the marks and the different colors and the panels. Oh, and by the way, 
This is a pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom. And on the inside of the bag here, there's another pocket that is exactly the same, but it's on the inside of the bag. Otherwise it's just open. So I'm really loving this Dakota and they recently released, I don't know if it'll still be online when this video goes up, but they recently released the Poppy in Dakota. So I'm gonna try to get my hands on that one too. And again, I will go with the Almost Perfect so it already has some flaws on it. By the way, I regret sending back that Storm Toad. I wish I still had it. So that's what I bought for myself at the Portland Leather Goods outlet this run. Again, please make sure you go check out Dawn Loves Couture, Winnie B. L. V. and James Jan. Those channels will all be linked below so you can see what I picked up for them, which they chose course. Let me know what you think and let me know if you are interested because I've been mulling this around. I don't know how feasible it is but let me know if you'd be interested in me potentially doing a little Portland Leather Goods outlet personal shopping for some of you. I'd have to come up with all kinds of rules about it. Let's gauge interest here. Let me know in the comments if that's something you might be interested in. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.